Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcoming you to episode 60 of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Alright, so, let's just keep on moving on with this castle, because we got quite a ways into it, and don't do that. Just hop down for the hell of it. Yeah, we also got a heart piece in the last episode too, and I was a complete idiot in those last two rooms. Like, when I was on my way back up here to this point, so that I could just meet you up here and save a bunch of time, I did those two rooms that I completely bombed in so, so much better. Uh, what does that do for me? Am I supposed to be able to like go into that hole or something? Uh, I don't know. Uh, let's find out. Oh no, I, m <laughs> I missed. Oh, I missed. But yeah, I did those rooms so much better. You don't even need the bombs in that one room. I was just being a complete ass about that. So completely asinine. Alright, let's just keep exploring. Is this room brighter? Hey, it is. Look at this. So I guess that's what that hole in the roof was meant to do. So let, you stream, let you stream light into here. So we can move forth. Yay, I'm figuring out puzzles all by myself. Hey, dude, get back here. That one just ran away all behind the re -dead. It's like, huh, you can't get me. You don't have a long enough range. Oh, but he came back like a moron. Uh, oh, also something else that I figured out on my way back up is that you don't have to use the Gibdo's mask for this. You can also use the Captain's hat. And on that note, can you use the Geralt's mask? Oh, you can. You can use, like, a, a bunch of these masks. Can I use Kamaro's mask? Nope. Okay. So, look at this. We've got the Reed Heads dancing. <laughs> oh my god, this one's, like, a, doing a pirouette, and these guys are just, like, doing jazz hands. Those aren't jazz hands, but whatever. This guy's, this guy's my favorite. I love the way this one dances. Doing the friggin' can can. Oh my god, I don't believe that. Wait, hold on. Hold your pose and smile. All right, sweet. Look at that redhead. <laughs> yeah, I'll keep the picture. Why not? All right, moving on. What were these guys guarding? Let's find out. Man. Oh, what's this guy doing here, dude? Come on, I beat your ass down twice now, two times in a row, in the Snowhead Temple, and now. You're gonna make me fight you again. Oh, but your glow is red this time. Does that mean something different? Does that mean you can burn me? Well, you could have burned me before because you had a fire attack, didn't you? And I imagine it's the same now because that's what wizard robes are famous for. Is their flame and fire. You know, I should be jumping, atta jump attacking this guy. It'll make it go faster. Oh, well, it's going pretty fast already, though. Hmm. You know, now that I think about it, his two different auras, the blue one and the red one, those correspond to, like, the two different colors of whiz robes in the, uh... Oh, I'm not gonna get him. Uh, in the original Zelda. Uh, oh, man! That's like a fire burst attack. That's crazy. But they, like, correspond to the two different colors of whiz robes in the original Zelda. But, in this case, apparently the red one's stronger, because they were weaker. The red ones were weaker in the original Zelda. So that's kind of interesting. Never really noticed that. Alright, and <laughs> more read <-eds. laughs> God damn it, I love this guy. But I'm gonna kill him just for fun. Yay. Man, these rupees. Yes, these rupees are great for reed grinding. No. These reed are great for rupee grinding because every time you kill them, they drop like a few like blue rupees. Sometimes just one blue rupee if they're cheapskates. And sometimes a red rupee, which is pretty awesome. So you can get like tons of rupees. And you can just like keep respawning them by leaving the room and they keep on dropping more and more rupees. Oh, hey, look where I am now. Oh, can I push this block? That would be so cool. Yeah, I don't think even the Goron would have much luck pushing that. Oh, hey, speaking of the Goron, let's get him out now. Because these rocks are cracked, so I'd imagine... Let's take off this mask. Imagine that the Goron has something to do with that. Man. Why is this even here? Why wouldn't they just, like... You know, if this crack, if these bunch of cracked rocks weren't here, I wouldn't be able to progress. I really wouldn't. Now I just have to go cry in a corner and be like, well, this LP is over. Burp, burp, burp. Let's just stand next to it. I want to see what happens. Well, I'm going to blow up, obviously. Oh, dude. <laughs> I killed the bird, too. Oh, my God. Right. Oh, crap. I'm surrounded by Reedheads. Can I pound them? Oh, my God. They froze me in the middle of a pound. <laughs> that's so That's awesome. Oh, did I hit? Did I actually hit one? <laughs> the Goron's face. Dude. Okay. Can these Aridids even hurt me if I'm a Goron, though? It doesn't look like it. Wow. They freeze the Goron in, like, the most epic stances possible. 
Alright, kill that one, and he's dead. Yeah, see, Red Ruby right there. Did you not believe me before? Well, you better now. Alright, and we'll open this up now. Sweet. Man. Would that reflection actually work? Like, wait. Because, like, would the mirror shield actually reflect the design of the mirror? Because, so, like, when the reflection on the wall is the is an image of a face. So, I don't know, I don't know if it, that would even work. Probably not. Alright, what do these pots contain? Just, just in case. Arrows, so am I going to need arrows for this? And magic. So I'm going to need ice arrows or fire arrows. Good to know. Yeah, oh yeah, I remember this room. This is going to be so much fun. Uh-oh. Oh, insolent one who has brought the unthinkable into a land as dark as I can. It's not too dark. The sun's shining. My servants have fallen aimlessly before the light that guides you. However, the darkness in which my servants live is, after all, fleeting. You shall see with your own eyes. Just what kind of thing true darkness really is! Uh-oh. Looks like we got some bitches to deal with here. Okay. Get out of here. Man. What is it with, like, LPers and calling all the enemies in Zelda bitches? Like, I've noticed that. Like, Nintendo Capri Sun does that. Uh, Dawn Bells does that. It's crazy. And now it's rubbing it off on me. Maybe I shouldn't. I'll call them something more creative, like... Bastards. There we go. <laughs> That's not creative at all, what am I saying? Alright, burn away! Oh, he's angry now. Well, what are you gonna do about it? Huh? What you gonna do about it, man? What you gonna do when I come for you? Oh, dear! <laughs> Apparently he's gonna kick me when I come for him. Well, I guess that's one way to handle it. Alright. Before I forget here now, uh, there's some masks that you can use in here. The, uh, Bremen mask being one of them. It's, and this one's really funny. Check this out. They're just, like, looking around, like, what the hell is he doing? Oh, march! Yeah! March, my bastards! March! <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is just crazy. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. I wish I could actually get a picture of this instead of that redid. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. Come on, march. March with the rest of us. It's so much fun. Oh, you're no fun. All right, but there is one more. Ow. One more mask that you can use. Actually, can I use, like, this mask? That would be interesting. Um, no. He doesn't believe that I'm a Garo. Alright, this is just gonna be fun. I'm just gonna use, like, a bunch of masks on, on these guys. Alright, do I have to give his mask on? I do. Oh, he doesn't, doesn't like me. Man, if I keep doing this, I'm just gonna get myself killed. But you know what? I don't care. I don't give a hoot. Hoot hoot. Alright, I'm gonna dance for them. Dance! God damn it. Dance. Okay, they, I guess they don't want to dance. Ah, uh, well, maybe they do want to dance. We'll do the dance of death with them. How about that? Well, let's put the stone mask on. Can you see me? Can you see me? I don't think you can. Oh, obviously they can. Okay. But this mask actually does something. Okay. Yeah, look at me. I'm one of you Stalfos now. Come on. Oh, Kita. Is it not Captain Kita? Oh, oh, yes, I'm Captain Kita, and, uh, you better apologize for trying to kill me. Let's go get coffee or something so we can talk about it. But you're so... Tiny! <laughs> Look at his feet go. Man. I'm nearly fooled by what you have done. Just shaking his head in complete disappointment. Alright. And now let's actually deal with these guys the proper way. So we're gonna go ahead and take these guys down. You gotta knock them down. So, well, you don't have to at first, but you will later. And once they're knocked down, this it just makes it easier to knock them down for this first part. So that you can actually get a clear shot off. Man, that burns in such a cool manner. I love it. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, my God, he's going crazy. All right, oh, can I, get the, can I get this guy before he gets back? Yes, awesome. What about the other guy? Oh, no, he's already up. Oh, is this the fat one? It is the fat one. Yeah, just by the, like, the shape of his chin, you can tell that he was fat when he was actually alive. It's amazing. And you're done. Alright, are you going to handle me now? Oh, yeah. Look at this. He's getting up. He pulls out his sword all dramatically. Big dramatic zoom. It's like... I guess this is like the boss now. Man. But this is probably going to be a really easy boss fight. All you really got to do is like block and hit. And that's really all there is to it. Well... If you block properly, that is. Oh, what the hell? 
He just belly danced his head off. Oh my god. I don't believe it. No. What the heck? What's going on? Um, and his body's still going after me? Too much to concentrate on at once. I don't. Oh my god. <laughs> He's eating my hat. No. That's my hat. You can't have it. Get your own. You already have your funky looking hat. Why do you need mine? Alright. Oh, now he's down. Down for the count. Yes. Burn away. In an awesome blue flame. So cool. Oh, damn it. Man. Is this going to be like the beaver race and we have to do it like four times in a row? You're blocking me. Get out of the way. I can still get him. But blocking you? The reason he beat us is because you were so feeble. Don't blame this on me. Oh my god, this voice is like perfect for them. What? Just try saying that again to my bony face. Feeble, 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 feeble. <laughs> Shut up already. Yeah, don't look at me. I was once called the best swordsman in all of Icona. The greatest swordsman in all of Icona? You feeble. Man, deja vu. Draw your weapon. In his angry rage, he flaps his jaw and doesn't make any sense. I'm telling you to draw your sword. Uh-huh. Because that's entirely possible when you're just ahead. <laughs> Will you stop? What fools? Um, look at all those like those punctuation points. Oh my goodness. Haven't you begun to understand? The kingdom being ruined and us left in this state. Isn't it petty little battles like this that have caused it? Man. They're filling up this cutscene with a bunch of cool camera angles. I like it. Believing in your friends and embracing that belief by forgiving failure. These feelings have vanished from our hearts. It all happened after somebody thrust open the doors of the stone tower. Probably the skull kid again, knowing him. You who bring light into darkness. I am the king of Icona Kingdom. Regos! Do a ha 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 The spellbinding that has been cast upon us was broken by that light which you carry. To return true light to this land, you must seal the doors of the stone tower, where the winds of darkness blow through. But stone tower is an impenetrable stronghold. Hundreds of soldiers in my kingdom would not even be able to topple it. You don't need to topple it, just close the door. It is far too reckless for one to take on such a challenge. And so, I grant you a soldier who has no heart, one who will not falter in the darkness. He's gonna give me a heartless. You shall remember this song. And I'm pretty sure that this is gonna be the final ocarina song that we learn. So that just tells you how close we are to the end of this game, I guess. Man, I love how he like shakes his head so much. Yeah. This song has a kind of cool melody, and despite what other people say, this song isn't too hard for me to remember. I don't know why. I just seem to remember it rather easily. Man, take off that stupid mask, Link. You've been wearing that captain's hat the whole damn time. What the hell is this? Holy shit! Oh my god! Oh fuck! I forgot how scary that thing looked. God damn it. This is a mystical song. I like. Oh my. I don't even care. It, by playing this song while wearing masks, you assume different forms you build to, to leave up to four empty shells, one for each form. Wow. The soldier who has no heart is your twin, twin image, a shell of yourself that you will shed when your song commences. Oh my god. Oh my kingdom shine the light of justice. Dude. What the hell? <laughs> oh my god. It actually looks kind of funny once I take a close look at it. It's just all smiley and I don't know, he, it looks like he wants to kill me, though. Goddamn. And it said, they, he said that you could shed, like, sh shells in different forms. Uh, I think I'm gonna show off all those statues right now, because the Deku one in particular we're probably not gonna see for a while. But I'm just gonna cut away, and I'll show you once I'm done. Help me, I'm surrounded by assholes! Okay. Yeah, so I made the four statues here, and it made the camera go all shaky and crazy, but hopefully you can see this well. Oh my goodness, there's the Deku. Look at his two different eyes, they're like different colors. This one's like the light side, and this one's like the dark side. And the Goron's freaking punching him in the head, look at this. Oh my goodness. I put them so close together, it's like all going crazy. Ah! And then there's this creepy, oh my goodness. Look, his, his throat's like all gashed and stuff. That's just, or maybe those are gills, I don't know, but scary looking. And their eyes are all like dead, like, 
and oh my goodness, the Goron, the Goron, it's just, I can't even see him, I put him too close, and he's so big and proud, look at how close his feet are together, he's like, skinny, he's got like skinny little legs, man, I want to get a good shot of the Goron, I don't know if you can see him too well, well, we'll see him later anyways, so, those were the four statues, the four elegy statues, and now, I think we're going to end off this video, so next time we're going to take on some side quests before moving on with the Stone Tower Temple. Thank you everyone for watching and until next time this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night.